All right, we're back. We're on page 189. We're on question nine of like a really long problem, basically. So I've already defined things on the calculator. I've defined uh, equations for birds one, two, three, and four. We've been creating a GeoGebra file, which also has birds one, two, three, and four. Um, and now what we're gonna do is try to answer another question. So if you don't have those things uh, defined or started or saved or whatever, uh, you might wanna go back and do that because I'm gonna assume that you have all of that. Let's see if we can answer this question. So bird five flies from six zero to 324, all right? Bird five's path intersects bird two's path. Okay, so the paths intersect, so it's like something like that probably. Both birds are at the point of intersection at the same time, so that's key, because um, we're gonna be able to use that. How long does it take bird five to fly from six zero to 324? All right. I'm gonna propose two different ways to solve this. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to GeoGebra and plot 60, 324, and I'm gonna plot the segment between them just so we can like see what's happening. So let's, let's go to GeoGebra and do that and uh, see if we can make some sense of this. So what do I need to, what do I not need to see? I don't need to see this segment right now. Um, and then this is bird two and bird I really don't need anything relating to bird four. So should I turn off bird four? So when you start using colors, it's a little easier to find things. Um, and then these are probably unnecessary right now. All right, so I've hidden those. They still exist though, like I can still turn them on. It's getting increasingly difficult though to remember uh, like what I was doing. Uh, so like B4 is bird four. And then here, if you look at, at the way it's defined, B4 of minimum of V comma 14, this is definitely bird four. So if I turn on, it'll say bird four. So I'm gonna turn all that back off. So when you start color coding, it's really helpful. Uh, I don't need birds one, so I'm gonna turn that off. And I don't need bird three, so I'm gonna turn that off. I feel like the color for bird three on like here versus here, have like nothing to do with each other. Like, I don't, I don't know. I think that's an inaccuracy and I don't really understand why because it's all just like one computer screen. Maybe it looks different on yours, I don't know. Uh, so here's bird two, doing its thing. So I'm gonna add to this uh, the starting point for bird, well, uh, yeah, from six zero. So six zero is the starting point and then uh, 324 is the ending point. So that's like way up, so let's zoom out, out, out. Okay, so here's how I propose that we solve this uh, the first way. I'm gonna create a segment, right? So I mentioned I would do that. So you can see they're, they're named I and J. So I'm just gonna say segment and then point I comma point J. And it creates a segment and it's using the last color that I used, I guess. So I'm gonna click there, click here and change it to, uh, color is that, like maroon? I'm gonna call it, all right, that brown? I don't know what color that is. Um, okay, so I have the two paths. So what I can actually do is I can find where they intersect. So I can find the point of intersection. Then I know that bird two and bird five get to the intersection at the same time. So if I know when bird two gets there, I also know when bird five gets there. So let me just move the slider and see if I can like get close to it or maybe get it. Um, here, so if you remember, we changed it so it's going by 0.1, so it's taking forever. You can drag it, it'll be faster. Uh, and then kind of like go a little, I think, I think it's around there. So I think it's gonna take around nine seconds to get to the intersection point. Now, what does that mean? That means that the bird flying from here to here also takes about nine seconds. So what I can start doing is I can start doing like proportional reasoning. I can say that to go from here to here, whatever this distance is, took nine seconds. So I can do like a um, distance over time, like the distance from here to the intersection divided by the time from the start to the intersection should be equal to, because we go at a constant speed, should be equal to the distance from start to end divided by time from start to end. And then the only thing I won't know there is gonna be the total time. That'll be how long it takes. I'm gonna to try to solve it that way. So I think that that's a good way to solve it. Now, how am I gonna find the intersection point? I have two choices. 
Well, I've, I have an infinite number of choices. Two good choices, I think. The first choice is I could take this line segment right here and just write the equation of the line and then write the equation of this line and then just find the intersection. Totally fine. That'll give me the intersection point. Another super weird thing that I can do is not really super weird when you think about it. Let's just pretend there's like a bird six, right? So this is all about bird five. Let's pretend there's a bird six and bird six takes one second to make the journey from the starting point to the ending point. Well, if I know bird six's parametric equations and I know bird two's parametric equations, I can use those to find the intersection of their paths, which will be the same as bird five and bird two's intersection, and the times it takes to get there. Now bird six's time won't make a difference because that's like a made up bird that's just helping us solve this, but bird two's time to the intersection point will be the same no matter what bird it's racing to get there. So I will have solved a lot of the problems. So that's how I'm gonna do it. So that was a lot of talking. Let's go back and um, let's write some equations and see how this works. So I'm gonna make up a bird. So the question is about bird five and bird two. We're gonna make up bird six. Start. So it's, it's doing the same thing basically as bird five, 324, but the time it takes is one minute or 20 minutes or 50 minutes. It doesn't actually matter. It's just helping us solve the problem. So if I deal with bird two and bird six, I can find the intersection and times by doing a system of equations, right? So it's gonna be x2 of t2 equals x6 of t6 and then y2 of t2 will equal y6 of t6. Like that's gonna work. You know what I should have done is write the equations for bird six. So maybe let me do that right now. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move this down and pretend that I did this in the right order. Okay, so bird six is gonna be, this is x6, y6. So you start at six, zero. You lose three, but it only takes you one. And then you gain 24, but it only takes you one. Okay, so bird six is like a hypothetical bird. It's like the, you know, if we had a bird that was gonna help us solve this, it would be bird six. So let's see what we can do. Go to the calculator, calculator do the work. So uh, I have a ton of things defined already. I'm gonna go over to, um, Tab one is where I started defining everything, I think. So here, yeah, press tab. I'm gonna skip five and just go straight to six. Uh, so this will be six minus three T, and this will be zero, which you don't need to type, plus 24 T, and it only takes one. Okay, so, oh my gosh, is it the same intersection, like five, eight? It looks like it's gonna be the same intersection point. So that that's, I, I mean, it honestly doesn't really make a difference, but. So now, somewhere in this list, I have solved basically this problem. Here it is. I basically solved this problem, but I'm gonna change everything up to reflect the problem that we're currently solving. So two and two, six and six, and two and two, six and six. Now remember, what this is gonna do is it's gonna tell us the intersection times. It's going to tell us the time that bird two gets to the intersection point and the time that bird six gets to the intersection point. I don't really care about bird six, um, which is sad because it's the bird that's helping us solve this. Um, so we get t equals nine and t six is one third. So bird six gets there in one third the time that it takes it to totally move because it took one second. We actually just inadvertently solve this if you think about it um, potentially. Like it's, it took one third of its total time to get there. And then, uh, all right, let me just, first, let me just like use these. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna jot this down. So uh, T2 is equal to nine, T6 is equal to one third. And then um, let me find the actual point. So let me steal something, let's steal you. 
and delete a lot of stuff and go with uh, x2, 2, 2, 2, such that t2 equals 9. Okay, so the intersection is 5, 8. That's interesting. I don't know if like when I was writing this I did that or what, who knows. Um, okay, let me go back to the notes and, and describe two thought processes that I have here. So the first one is, I'm going to continue to solve this the way that I'm solving it. Um, so we know that uh, bird two gets to the intersection at t equals nine, regardless of what bird it's racing to get there, whatever, doesn't make a difference. Bird two gets to the point five eight at t equals nine. And that's important because in the problem, we know that uh, both birds are at the point of intersection at the exact same time. So now we know, so B2 and B5 at intersection, which is 5, 8, at T equals 9. They both get there at T equals 9 minutes. So now I know that bird 5 is also there at T equals 9. So I was claiming before, I think we actually inadvertently solved this problem. And the reason I think that is bird six, when we solve this, takes a total of one minute to do the entire trip, but only took one third of a minute to get to the intersection point. So it takes a third of its time to get to the intersection point, which must mean that the bird that takes nine minutes to get there would take 27 minutes to do the entire trip. I think the answer is that bird five takes 27 minutes. What I'm going to do though, is I'm going to continue solving this the way I said that I would. And so what does that mean? So that means I'm going to, I'm going to draw a little picture here. And then when I'm done with this, I'm going to, so I think the answer is 27. And I think that's like a, a fine argument that you could make. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say that this, uh, all right, so that, I don't know, that's supposed to be that. So this takes nine seconds, nine minutes. And then I'm going to say that this takes, um, like, we don't know. So I'm going to say like T max minutes. I don't know, but I do know the distance or I can find the distances. So what I'm going to end up doing is, uh, distance to the intersection over time to the intersection should be equal to distance total over time total. So which of these do I know? I know, uh, I, well, I, I don't know, but I can find this. I do know, I don't know what colors I'm using for things. I do know this is nine. Um, I don't know, but I can find this. And then the only thing I won't know is the total time, which I still think is 27, by the way. Um, so I'm going to do that now. So the intersection, so what are these? These are three zero, no, six zero, three twenty four. So six zero, three twenty four. And then the intersection point we found is five eight. All right, so let's use a calculator to solve that. So we're going to do some distances, and I'm probably just going to do norms of vectors, to be honest with you. Um, so here we go. Uh, we want to solve. So menu three, one. OK, so what is the total distance? It's going to be the norm of the vector from uh, 6, 0 to 3, 24. That's the total distance, and then that's we don't know how long that takes. So I'm gonna say that's uh, like T max equals the norm of the vector from, uh, so the intersection is five, eight, and the starting point is six, zero. And we know that that takes nine because they both get there at the same time. So I wanna solve this for T max. You could have just used T, it would have been totally fine. Um, and I get 27, so T max is 27 uh, which is kind of what I was expecting it to be. So now that we've gotten that by doing proportional reasoning, 
I'll explain again the proportional reasoning that I used to say, oh, I think we inadvertently solved this. Um, so this just ends up telling me that T subtotal equals 27, therefore bird five takes 27 minutes total. Okay, the proportional reasoning that I was saying was, and again, I already explained it, but like one more time. If this bird takes one total minute and gets here at t equals one third, then any other bird on that path going at a constant speed will also take one third of its time to get to the intersection point. And if it took nine minutes to get there, then that must be one third of the total time. So that's where I got 27. So I think you can solve it that way. Let me give you another way that you can solve this. Well, potentially. So this way is um, like a lot easier. And so I don't like to show it first because it's harder to like work out why it works, I think. Um, so let's just say, well, actually, I don't even know if this is gonna work. We're gonna try it. So uh, all bets are off. Let's say let, uh, let T6 be the time. So I need to like block this off. You know what I'll do? Different, different marker. So this is a totally different approach. Um, what would be a good red? Red it is. Okay, so let's let, uh, let's let capital, uh, no, let's let, what should we do? T, T sub six be total time. No, T five, because we're doing bird five. T sub five, bird five, total time for bird five. Okay, so parametric equations would then look like, they're gonna look like uh, six, zero, minus three over T five, and then plus 24 over T five, and you're gonna go zero to, oh, I forgot the T, 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 to T five. So it's like kind of weird. So now, can we potentially solve the system? I honestly don't even know. Uh, I'm gonna try to solve the system. Oh, we can, right? So they're at the intersection at the same time. So this is key. They're at intersection at same time. Okay, so we don't need dummy variables. We can just straight up use what we have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solve x2 of t equals x5 of t. And I'm gonna solve y2 of t equals y5 of t. And I'm gonna solve that for, I mean, I really wanna solve that for t5, for t5, but I think it's also gonna tell me t. I'm gonna get t and t5. Let's go to the calculator and see if we can make this work. Also, I'm gonna do a very weird thing. Uh, am I? No, I'm not gonna do a very weird thing. Uh, so let's go up here and take this, right? And I'm gonna change this to uh, just T because it's not unique to that. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna delete this and change this to six minus three over T five times T. So I'm just rewriting the system, but kind of like stealing what I can. Uh, so this will be 24 over T five times T. And then I need to solve for T and T five. I think this is gonna tell me right away that T five is 27. Boom, and it tells me T is nine. That's when, um, so T five is the total amount of time that it takes bird five. And then T, which is nine, is the amount of time it takes bird two to get to the intersection. And it turns out bird five, they get there at the same time. So this gives me T equals nine, T five equals 27. Oh my gosh, glad you're not watching that. Ah, I'm messing it up. 20, give me a seven. Okay, so let me go back. So this, I don't really like that approach, uh, even though it's like super direct, gets the answer immediately. Uh, it's, it's really a great way to do it. I just, I don't know, I just don't like it. But I think it's important to realize that it can work out for you. So, uh, Therefore, 
bird five takes 27 minutes. So I don't know. It's not, I prefer the like process where you think things through and, you know, reason it out and it's good, but like, that's really three approaches, right? We, we used uh, one approach where we were like one minute, one third, but it was nine. So like, therefore 27, another proportional reasoning where we do this. And then a third, which is like super algebraic and really dependent on the calculator. Um, not that the other parts weren't, we get this anyway. Uh, that's it for this problem. So I'm going to stop this here. I'll be back in the next video. I think we're moving on to talk more about conics, um, but we'll be back to all this stuff. So I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next one.